I guess I need to do an intro, or do I need to do an intro? Welcome back, everybody. What you said the other day was really funny and it kind of stuck in my head. You were talking about you took an acting class and I think you said like what they teach you to do is create an alter ego and just think, be in that character almost. And I started thinking about that shit and how weird that is, but it makes sense. This is nothing that I've ever done before, but I don't know. Would you, did you learn that shit in high school or what? High school? I never took drama in high school or any class like that. I wanna paint something lighter, but this is what I got on the table. So today I'm gonna be painting this and painting this. This is for a specific client and I'm prospecting and answering texts. And then I got a client coming by here in like an hour and a half. So I'm kind of like pressed for time, but uh, yeah. It's always tricky trying to find activities to fill the gaps in the meantime. Scott owns like 11 or 12 of my paintings and he's one of my early kill, uh, early collectors, you know? That's Scott. That's Scott. Did you meet Scott That's at one Scott. of the events? Yep. So I definitely want to make sure he's taken care of. Where that white paint went? I see it. Well, hell, there's two of them it's right in front of him. I just got back from Miami. We, my girlfriend and I, were down in Miami at Virginia Key, which is like right by South Beach. It's just, just past South Beach. And we went to a festival called Love Burn. It's a regional Burning Man event. We usually go every year, and then we go to the Big Burn in Nevada around Labor Day every year but we have decided that we're going to take a hiatus for a couple years and not not go to burning man again for a little bit which is kind of sad on one hand but it's also kind of nice it's a lot of work like going to burning man it's a, a ton of fun it's a lot different from any type of event that i've ever been to but at the same time it's a lot of work and responsibility and logistically speaking it's kind of a pain in the ass to get there with all your stuff. You've got to pack in like so many different supplies for the week. Your costumes, you got to have all your costumes. Usually when I get back in town from Burning Man, I'm usually drained for at least like seven to 10 days after I get back. But uh, yeah, not too bad this year, at least today. All right, I'm going to get get this thing going so we're thinking about doing a uh, like more videos like this in the format where I just talk about random stuff that's going on in my mind while I'm painting and I don't know what we're gonna call it talking and painting with Brendan probably not uh, but something like that you got some ideas drop them down in the comments we want to hear them what are we gonna call it and on top of that, is this something that people really want to watch? I don't know. We could definitely produce a lot of content like that, but is it stuff that people are really interested in hearing me ramble and paint? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We're going to do something that I haven't done in a while actually on this one. Cause if I remember correctly, this piece, the original piece that I did for Scott had this technique in it. It's basically, you know, you got to keep 91% rubbing alcohol on hand just in case you get resin on you, you know, sticky stuff, sticky, nasty stuff. But basically the technique goes like this. Once you're doing your resin work, tinted resin, no matter what you're throwing in it, it could be acrylic oil. It could be spray paint. It could be dry pigment, whatever tinted resin and then do spray paint on top of the wet resin. And then you go back and you take alcohol and you can flick it in it, you can pour it in it, you can spray it, whatever. And it just disperses the, uh, the spray paint. It makes this pattern that's kind of cool. 
I think I got what I need. Also, finally uh, washed a lot of my painting clothes that we had. I've got a lot of outfits that have paint on them. So typically, I'll rewear a lot of the same stuff, but every once in a while, I'll send somebody to the laundromat with all these painting clothes because we don't want to put these through our washer and dryer because they've got resin and glitter and everything else in there, right? Anyway, the lady who washed and dried them this time, though, must have like thrown them super high temperature dry, so they've all shrunk. I mean, I already wear really tight clothes to begin with, but I feel like my pants are choking me out today. They're clean, though. They're definitely clean. Can't complain about that. I can't believe that we are almost in March. It's going to be springtime soon. And here at the beach in North Florida, when springtime rolls around, all the people start coming back in town. All the money comes back in town. And uh, yeah, which is a great thing, but only if you're prepared for it. So for my business, what that means is that I need to switch out all of my inventory at all of my vendors here locally before springtime rolls around. So it's exciting, but uh, it also, it's coming up soon. So I need to get to work on that and slowly start moving some of this work around and putting it in the right places at the right times. So we're gonna be focused on that the next few weeks starting to shift a lot of the work around that we do have and uh, continuing to update the website. By the way, we actually sold pretty decent painting online recently. I don't have a lot of online sales off my website as far as original artwork goes, but just like 10 days ago, we sold an original for about $10,500 in older work which is awesome. We just don't sell a lot of originals off the website. Yeah, that's a good thing. Just got to figure out how to do more of that. And uh, working on getting another space to display art as well. There's another like little building that has come up for rent that is right behind my office. And uh, it's kind of dilapidated and needs some work. It needs the roof patched and it's gonna need new floors, new walls, new ceilings, a lot of new stuff, but I think I'm gonna get it anyway and uh, have some extra wall space to display work. But um, it's just one more thing on the to-do list. I feel like I'm kind of spread thin at the moment. Got too many things going and not enough people to help. So I think, the next big to do's for me is going to be to make either some new hires or get more efficient with how I operate in general. I have to realize that I can't do all this stuff myself. And uh, I don't know, that's a big shift for me mentally because I've always been the Lone Ranger, just the one man show. And uh, I love learning new skill sets, but at the same time, I just don't have time to become an expert at everything. I love learning, but I just don't have time to really sit down and sacrifice my energy that needs to go into everything else to make the business run the way it needs to run. So I need to start thinking a little more like a business owner instead of a one-man show. This is just me talking, just talking, thinking out loud. Marge was asking if we had a table book last week. See, that's another thing. We need to make a table book. People are ready to buy it. By the way, I'm thinking about having my content creator slash artist assistant slash gallery manager slash anything and everything guy uh, start doing some of this stuff on camera for me, or at least participating in the videos. I wonder if anybody would like to actually see Mikey and actually see his face and know a little more about Mikey. Seeing more Mikey 
on the YouTube channel. I think people would really love it. If you want to see more Mikey or Mikey at all on my YouTube channel, you should drop his name down in the comment and say, I want to see Mikey. <laughs> no, he's shaking his head. I don't think he wants to. I think we're going to make him do it though. I think he would actually really enjoy it because I think people would really enjoy getting to see some Mikey. I don't know though. Maybe not. One way to find out. A little bit more paint. A little bit of paint. Let's do some of this. The thing I was talking about. So when you throw some spray paint on it, a little spray paint like that. Okay, let's take a bottle that's already open. Like this. And then you can just kind of, I don't know if you saw any of that. Could you see it? You can see it right there. Pretty cool, right? How it just makes its own pattern. A little something different. And then it just basically like evaporates out, you know? It's a little bit of alcohol. You don't need a lot. You just need a little bit. Honestly, I think I'm done with this for now. Just got to make sure I get the edges really good. Get all those edges. What I really liked about that last piece that I made like that <coughs> with the neon is that I had the, the neutral tones in there with it. You know what I mean? So doing the neutrals and with those tones, I think that's where it's at. So we're gonna take this bright, bright stuff, more of that bright, 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 bright. I kinda wanna throw some like really, I wanna paint with some black, honestly. I'm not gonna do that on this one though. I'm gonna go with that neutral shit again. A really light neutral. Where's that paint opener, that can opener thing? Here it is. It's so nice when everything's exactly where it should be. It's very rare that that happens, which is typically my fault. But today it just worked. I'm gonna get a little bit of neutral this, a little bit of neutral that. Do some like beiges. That's the thing that made that other piece so awesome was all those beige tones. Here, let's throw some of this shit in there. Getting ready for this upcoming season. I am about to go on, actually first things first, what we'll probably do is have a studio sale around spring break to clean out inventory here at the studio. We have got a ton of art in the closets and just crap everywhere that we need to get out. But then I'm going to start heavily, heavily painting for the new season and incorporating a lot of color trends for the upcoming year and uh, really focusing on 36 by 48s, 48s by 72s, and a lot of sizes like that and swapping some inventory around. So that's going to be one of our next next missions essentially see how it goes right yeah i have never used this uh, this color blue pigment so let's try it it's like an electric blue almost it's deeper than i thought it would be right let's throw some here throw some there little bit everywhere painting with sticks with brendan yeah like what, what should we call it if we did content like this Say twice a week. I think that's plenty. What are we gonna call it? We should have a theme for the show that's more than just me rambling about whatever the topic of the day is, right? Like I think, for one thing, a lot of the videos we've been making are kind of like just flying by the seat of our pants. We're just gonna hit record and, and see what happens, you know? Which is great and everything. But I think one of the next big evolution for the channel is going to be being a little more intentional about what we film. Having more of a plan going in. That's a cool color green. Let's see. That actually, no, that's not what I thought it was. That's some bright, bright, bright. We need some glitter. We're gonna throw in some gold. Interference gold. I don't know about this, Mikey. I don't know about this one. You know, I just don't know about it. 
What do you think? Dang, it's got a point. It's true. I kind of want to just throw some black in it. It doesn't need that. It's actually not where I'm going with this. I think I'm going to go more color though. You know what? I'm hesitating. I usually don't hesitate, but I'm hesitating. We got those. We got the photo shoot from Sean Murphy back. A lot of the footage from that photo shoot and a lot of it's good. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. So that's awesome, you know? I kind of need more resin. Need more resin? Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, I don't like it. Can't like them all. Weird. Mm-mm. Bubble gum. Yeah, this thing looks like dog shit. I just got back in town. Maybe I'm out of my rhythm. I don't know. I do like that pink in it though. It actually looks nice. I also got some new uh, caps that I haven't actually pulled out yet. Yeah. Ha ha ha. That didn't work. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I think that's it. That's all. I'm gonna let it dry and then re-layer it. 